Hello, this is Mark with All Natural Aquatics. Welcome to this edition of Two Minute Tuesday. Our feature today will be the Diamond Tetra, Munchausia pityei. Species grows to a little bit over two inches. It's a shoaling fish by nature, although it shoals rather loosely. You'll be able to see in the video how these guys kind of go on their own and then they come back together. The males will display a bit to each other uh, and then they'll display to females. And this is what they do all the time. So they should best be kept in a, in a group, at least six to eight fish, but don't expect them to school in the way that a neon tetra or something like that does. They just don't school that tightly. Um, you'll also see the differences in, in sex between males and females in the video. The males have longer fins and spangling on the sides. The spangling really varies depending on how the light hits it. You'll see that color variation as they move throughout the tank. And you can notice in a couple of spots, I'll move the lighting to a different angle so you can see it differently. Really displays its best in a planted aquarium. Um, seem, fish just seems to have almost an inner glow in those spots when, when it's got that nice green background and good lighting. A couple of interesting things about them too. They didn't used to be common in the hobby. They only come from a limited area of distribution in, in Venezuela that really didn't see a lot of fish exported for the hobby. But fortunately, over the last couple of decades, that has changed as the fish is bred in large quantity in a number of countries in Southeast Asia and is almost always pretty readily available. Uh, the genus Munchausia itself is in dire need of, of a uh, revision. Um, this fish may very well end up being in a different genus before too much longer. It's named after Henri Pitier, who was a Swiss botanist who worked extensively in Venezuela, described in actually over 30,000 species of plants while he was there. And one of the uh, national parks in Venezuela is named after him as well. So worthy gentleman for having a fish named after him, and it's a great fish. Definitely one you should consider adding to your next community tank. Um, please, if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Give us a, a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.